So without further ado, let's begin with the configuration. Now I have here a Cisco router that has zero configuration on it at all, and we can configure it from scratch. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's already booted up. It's on the iOS that supports the CME, but now we're at the system configuration dialog. So from here, we're just going to say no and let it uh, boot in as normal. Press enter to get started. Get a few system messages here and then we're in. So now we can go into enable. Now the first thing, as you could probably guess, is we just need to throw some uh, basic configuration on. So looking at our topology here, we have uh, 192.168.1.14 for fast ethernet 00 and 10.10.10.1 slash 24 uh, for uh, subinterface uh, 00.10 and it's on VLAN 50. Uh, so the first thing, uh, we're connected via the console cable at the moment. Uh, so first thing I like to do is, uh, it's just kind of a habit <clears throat> from CCNA days, but it's a line console zero and then logging synchronous and um, no exec timeout. And then also, since I can't type and speak a lot of times, I use the no IP domain uh, lookup. So that way, if I make a typo, we don't have to sit and wait for it. So after those minor little cosmetic things, let's uh, go to interface fast ethernet 00. We'll uh, have the change the duplex to full speed 100 and give it an IP address of 192.168.1.14 and uh, class C subnet. And we'll say no shutdown. We'll then go to interface FA00.10 and put in encapsulation.1q and in this case it's uh, VLAN 50. And usually uh, they say to have the VLAN the same as the subinterface number but I don't know, I'm just feeling rebellious today so we'll make it 50. And then I'll give the IP address of 10.10.10. .10 .10 one and a class C subnet and we're done with that and just one last thing is uh, I have EIGRP on the other routers running so um, we'll go ahead and add that real quick uh, network 192.168 and then also we'll broadcast the 10 network And we should be good uh, as far as our um, should have data connectivity now. All oh, right. And we'll also set up an NTP server. Okay, so now that we've got our basic configuration uh, in place here, we'll go ahead and uh, save that. And remember the uh, CME files that we downloaded off the Cisco website? Well, now is the part where we can install it. Uh, if we do the dir flash, uh, we can see the only file that we have right now is the iOS image. So, um, to download those files, what we're going to do is use the archive command and use the tar, and we're going to extract these files. So, extract and then it's going to ask you from where. In this case we're going to use TFTP and the IP address and then the file name. And then we'll ask you where, what directory, and we're going to say flash. Hit enter and this will go out and contact the TFTP server and start downloading and extracting on the fly to the flash drive automatically creates all the subdirectories and everything.
So since uh, this is um, this can take a little while because there's a lot of files, I'm going to pause the video and wait till this is uh, done. So it'll just be one second. Alright, the files have finished downloading and I just recorded a segment and realized I had it on mute so I'm redoing it now. <laughs> uh, but anyway, as you can see all these files were downloaded, um, extracted on the fly, and then when you type in dir flash, you can see that all these files are now in the flash directory. And this is used by the phones and CME. So now that everything's all set up here, remember those three main commands that we talked about earlier? MaxDN, MaxEphone, and IP source address? That's where they come into play now to finish the ensemble to enable Cisco Call Manager Express. So what we want to do is go into global config and then type in telephony service. This changes to the config telephony and this is kind of the core where all of your primary configs are going to be uh, for CME and where most of your uh, you know, core CME configurations will take place. So as we discussed earlier, the first thing that we're going to do is max DN. And it's going to ask you how many maximum directory numbers are supported. So, um, you know, in this case, we'll say 30. And then we want the max e phones. And on here, when I use a question mark, it tells you this is one quick way you can find out how many um, phones your system will provide uh, support. Um, in, my, in this case, on this 2801, it supports 30. However, um, you want to set this value to the number of licenses, feature licenses you purchase, purchased. So we'll say 24. And then for the IP source address, uh, we're going to use the 10.10.10.1. Once you hit enter, that completes the ensemble as far as um, your uh, enabling Cisco Call Manager Express. So now everything should be running and thanks for watching. I'm just kidding. We'll we'll uh we'll get a little more in depth.